Who can bring harm to someone surrounded by the abundance of God's blessings? As we enter the new year, a blank canvas appears, providing an opportunity to speak God's blessings over every aspect of your life. With confidence, we declare these blessings, undeterred by uncertainties about what the upcoming year may bring. Our confidence is rooted in the understanding that the God guiding the entire year is the one who breathes life into existence and comprehends the journey from its beginning to its end. The prayers we offer hold profound significance reaching into the future. None of our requests go unnoticed or unanswered. Therefore, let us speak blessings over the new year, recognizing that the words uttered by our tongues carry transformative power, shaping the contours of our future days. Just as God's blessings shield us from harm, may the blessings we speak fortify every dimension of our lives. From your relationships and health to your pursuits and spiritual journey, I pray that God will help you as you speak and the fortification take over. Recognizing the creative potency of our spoken blessings, we understand that our declarations go beyond the present moment. They wait within the corridors of time, influencing the unfolding chapters of our lives. And thus, New Year, let our voices align with the enduring promises of God, speaking prosperity, favor, and grace into the days that lie ahead. May the words we speak be carried by the winds of God's divine purpose, settling upon the soil of our lives to yield a harvest of goodness, joy, and fulfillment. And as we stand at the brink of a new year, our hearts find assurance that our prayers, spoken as blessings, rest in the hands of a God who knows the end from the beginning. May the blessings we speak transform into a shield of protection, a guide in light of hope, and an unseasoned source of divine favor throughout the unfolding chapters of the new year. And so, in the name of Jesus, I pray that the love of God which surpasses all knowledge, as written in Ephesians 3.19, becomes a guidance force in your life. May his love be the anchor that steadies you in moments of unrest and the driving force behind every endeavor. I pray you receive the grace of able to grasp the magnitude of love of God. May his love be the compass guiding your thoughts, actions and interactions throughout the year. May you experience it in tangible ways in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you that the Lord will bless you and keep you in the year 2024. May the Lord's face shine on you, granting you clarity for the year. I pray the Lord turns his face towards you, gives you peace and be gracious to you in the name of Jesus. May the blessings of the Lord be a protective shield around you, guarding your every step in the coming year. The word of God in Psalm 5:12 says, For you bless the righteous, O Lord, you cover him with favor us with a shield. I pray in thoughts, words and actions that you pursue righteousness. I pray for strength and wisdom to pursue righteousness in the name of Jesus. The favor of God be a protective shield around you and guarding you against the challenges and uncertainties that may arise. I declare that the favor of God goes before you, preparing the way and opening doors of opportunities according to his perfect plan and i pray that as you navigate the days and the seasons of the year you enjoy the blessings of the father as a righteous one in the name of jesus and in trust and submission may your journey through the new year be marked by clarity and divine direction in the name of jesus i declare isaiah 41 verse 10 over you so you do not fear for i am with you do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. May fear be replaced with faith, knowing that the Lord is your constant strength and support. According to Nehemiah 8.10, I pray the joy of the Lord be your strength, infusing vitality and resilience into your spirit in the name of Jesus. May laughter and moments of delight be abundant, bringing refreshing lightness to your heart. 
even in this new year. I pray that you are bound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit in accordance to Romans 15, 13. And I pray that your hope will be steadfastly anchored on the promises of the Father. And may it inspire and uplift those around you in the name of Jesus. I speak into the works of your hands that they are blessed and that the fruits of your labor be plentiful in the name of Jesus. May your endeavors align with God's purpose for your life, bring in fulfillment and prosperity. I pray that each member of your family is enveloped in the love and protection of the Father in the name of Jesus and may your home be a sanctuary of peace, joy and unity. I declare that your family thrives in harmony and joy in the mighty name of Jesus as I also declare that the hand of God be evident in every area of your endeavor in this new year. Philippians 4 7 says and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your heart and your mind in Christ. I pray you experience a profound sense of peace that surpasses all understanding in the name of Jesus. May joy be your constant companion infusing each moment with the warmth of his love. I pray that the divine grace of our heavenly father overflow in your journey throughout the coming years in the name of Jesus. Psalm 91 11 says for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. I declare a mantle of protection over you, shielding you from harm and ensuring that his angels encamp around you. May your health be robust and may you be strengthened in spirit, soul and body. Colossians 3 14 says and above all these put on love which binds everything together in perfect harmony. I pray that your relationships will be marked by love, understanding and unity in the name of Jesus. May you be surrounded by individuals who uplift and support you on your journey. According to Malachi 3.10, bring the full tide into the house that there may be food in my house and thereby put me at test says the Lord of hosts, if I would not open the windows of heaven for you and pour down for you a blessing until there is no room. I pray for prosperity in your endeavors spiritually, emotionally and materially. May you be a source of blessing to those around you. May your generosity be returned to you in abundance. In times of challenge, may you find resilience and unwavering faith. May your trust in God's providence be a source of strength and may you emerge victorious through his grace. As you embrace the new year, I pray again that you walk in the fullness of God's purpose for your life. May your steps align with his divine plan. May you experience the fulfillment of his promises. May your heart be attuned to the whispers of the Holy Spirit, guiding you in moments of decision and revelation. May your spiritual journey deepen and may you draw closer to God in intimate communion in the name of Jesus. Psalm 100 verse 4 says, Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him. Bless his name. I declare an atmosphere of praise and thanksgiving over your life. May gratitude be the melody of your days, acknowledging the goodness of God in every circumstances of your life in this year 2024. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. As the new year approaches, it's crucial to recognize that the enemy seeks to hinder your progress. The adversary often employs witches and wizards as stated in Ephesians 6, 12. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. However, Ephesians 1, 21 assures us of Christ's triumph over these spiritual entities far above all rule and authority, power and dominion, and every name that is invoked not only in the present age, but also in the one to come. In Christ, you find safety and victory over witches and wizards. As a cherished child of the Most High God, Colossians 3.3 affirms that your life is now hidden with Christ in God. 
Given the triumph we as believers have in Christ, let us reunite in prayer against any plans of witches and wizards for your life in the upcoming year. Please join me as I lift these concerns in prayer. In Jesus' name, Father, it is in your name that we come, knowing that you're always there to answer us. And standing on Psalm 91 verse 1, that dwelling in the sacred place is an intimate communion with you, Almighty. As we enter into this new year, I decree to everyone under the sound of my voice that may you take refuge in the shelter of his wings, finding safety from witches and wizards beneath the shadow of his presence. In this divine dwelling, there is an impervious defense against the workings of darkness and I declare that you are hidden in the secret place of the Most High, abiding under the shadow of the Almighty. No curse or enchantment shall prevail against you, for you are covered by the wings of Almighty's protection. As it's written in Isaiah 54, 17, that declares, No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue which rises against you in judgment you shall condemn. As you embark on the journey of the new year, let this word be a resounding anthem of assurance. And in the mighty name of Jesus, I affirm that the weapons formed or forged by witches and incantations uttered by wizards shall not prevail against you, for you are fortified by the promise of divine protection. In the radiant light of this assurance, stand firm, knowing that you are clothed in the armor of God as you put on the whole armor from the belt of truth to the helmet of salvation. Declare your readiness to face any spiritual opposition that may arise. The shield of faith shall quench every fairy dart of the adversary, and the sword of the spirit which ears the word of God shall be your offensive weapon against the forces of darkness. And in the embrace of this new year, let the words of Psalm 23 verse 4 be a shield around you. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. I stand firm and claim this promise for you as a shield against any attacks or schemes of witches and wizards. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke any form of witchcraft or wizardry that may be directed towards you. And I raise a spiritual barrier that shields you from the influence of dark forces. May the blood of Jesus create a protective boundary preventing any curses or spells from reaching you. I plead the blood of Jesus over every aspect of your life, the mind, body, spirit, relationships and possessions. Let the power of the blood break any chains and destroy the works of the witches and wizards and I release angels to dismantle every plot and plan of the enemy against you. Exodus 14 24 says, during the last watch of the night, the Lord looked down from the pillar of fire and cloud at the Egyptian army and threw it into confusion. As the Lord did for Egyptians, let confusion reign in the camps of those who would seek to harm you. In the powerful name of Jesus, I bind and break any curses or spells directed at you as I release the light of the word, scattering the darkness and bringing freedom. May you walk in the victory secured by the finished work of Jesus on the cross. James 4, 7 instructs us as children of God to submit ourselves to him, resist the devil and watch him, the devil, flee. I pray that you lean on this powerful promise against the works of witches and wizards in your life and I declare victory in advance over any plans or strategies of the adversary aimed at your life in this new season. And by the authority in the name of Jesus Christ, I render powerless the workings of witches and wizards. From the story in 2 Kings chapter 7, verses 3 to 20, just as the Lord caused the enemies come to flee in haste, living behind their supplies, I pray that any plans of witches and wizards against you, as you step into the new year, are scattered and rendered powerless. As the Lord caused the besieging army to hear a noise of chariots and horses, creating fear and confusion, I pray that any plans or gatherings of those practicing witchcraft or wizardry against you are disrupted and confused. Let fear and confusion reign in the midst of their schemes, causing them to scatter and abandon their efforts. As 
as the Lord brought victory and deliverance to the lepers in the face of scarcity and opposition. I pray the same manifest in your life and I pray that you discover unexpected blessings and provisions in the midst of any spiritual attacks in the name of Jesus. And as the lepers were provided for beyond what they could have imagined, I pray for an overflow of blessings, favor and abundance in your life. May you experience a season of unexpected provision, prosperity and breakthroughs despite any opposition you face in Jesus name. Empowered by the spirit of 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7, I declare boldly for God has not given you a spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind. I pray that the authority bestowed upon you by the Almighty banish any fear or malevolent influence that witches and wizards may seek to cast upon your path. And in the authority of Jesus' name, I rebuke every plan, strategy or spell fashioned by witches and wizards against you. I declare null and void any assignment of darkness aimed at causing harm or hindrance against you in this new year. I commit you into the capable hands of the Almighty, trusting in His faithfulness and protection. May this new year be marked by God's blessings, favor and peace in your life. In Jesus' name, I pray that the Lord goes before you into the new year, clearing the way and shielding you and your family from harm. Luke 10 19 says, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you and i invoke the power embedded in the scripture and rebuke every scheme and attack orchestrated by the forces of darkness in the life of your family may every witch and wizard that may seek to infiltrate and harm your business or career in the coming year be nullified in the name of jesus I dismantle every snare and every incantation woven by witches and wizards aimed at destabilizing your family. May your business be safeguarded against any malicious intentions, a curse is designed to thwart its success. In the name of Jesus, I pray wisdom for you to navigate your professional endeavors and may your business or career path be illuminated by light, ensuring progress and prosperity in alignment with the divine power of the Almighty Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Amen. As we step into this fresh year, the enemy's intentions remain consistent to bring about destruction, theft and death. Although the methods the devil might employ to execute these plans are unknown, it's crucial to vocalize and affirm your intentions for the new year. Proverbs 18.21 emphasizes the significance of words in shaping your reality. The power of life and death lies in the tongue and those who love it will reap its consequences therefore you possess the ability to craft the life you desire by speaking into existence what you want start now by envisioning and verbalizing how you want your upcoming year to unfold summoning those desires as if they are already a reality you have the power to align your life with these declarations you can align yourself with the protective declaration I'm about to pronounce over your life for this new year. Let's pray. In the name of Jesus, I declare a hedge of divine protection around you. As you step into this new year, I invoke the premises of Psalm 91 and Psalm 121, claiming the abundant blessings of safety and security that God's word has ordained. I declare that your journey is under the watchful eye of celestial beings as angels surround you waiting off any danger or adversity they may attempt to cross your path. May their invisible wings bear you up, preventing any stumbling block from hindering your progress. In every step you take, angels are divinely assigned to guard you in all your ways, ensuring that you walk in the divine purpose set before you. I declare that the Lord, the keeper of your soul, will shield you from harm. His protective hand will be a fortress against the assaults of the enemy, deflecting every arrow aimed at you. 
Trust in the Almighty to guide your life both in the daytime and in the shadows of the night. His watchful presence extends beyond the confines of time, preserving you now and forevermore. I declare that the promises of divine protection are your portion. The very breath of God shall be a shield around you, rendering important any planned device to bring harm. In the face of adversity, you shall stand unshaken. For the Lord your God is your refuge and fortress. I decree that as you dwell in the sacred place of the Most High, you abide under the shadow of the Almighty. His faithfulness is your shield and wrapper. Fear not the challenges that may arise, for you are under the divine canopy of protection. May the words of these songs be edged in the fabric of your being, a constant reminder that you are enveloped in God's protective love. As you journey through the new year, let the declaration of divine protection be your anchor, grounding you in the certainty that you are secure in the hands of the Almighty. In Jesus' name. In the threshold of this new year, may the words of Isaiah 54, 17 be your fortress. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue which rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn. May you embrace the divine promise that no weapon forged in the hidden realms or manifested in the tangible world shall prevail against you. You stand under the protective umbrella of the Almighty and no tongue that seeks harm can withstand the authority bestowed upon you in the name of Jesus. As you transit into the new year, I declare the unshakable promise of Psalm 121 verse 5 over your beloved family. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The Lord stands as their guide and refuge, shielding and guiding every step they take in the name of Jesus. In the sanctuary of his providence, I proclaim that the Lord envelopes your family with his divine covering. His presence surrounds them as a fortress, providing shade and shelter from every storm, both seen and unseen. As the keeper of their lives, may the Lord watch over them diligently, never slumbering nor sleeping, ever vigilant in his care. In the name of Jesus, I decree that his protection extends beyond mere physical safety. The Lord in compassion, love and wisdom serve as a guide and light, illuminating their path amidst uncertainty. May his guidance direct their decisions, relationships and endeavors through all the year ahead. In the name of Jesus, any schemes or malevolent intentions aimed at disrupting their peace or unity are rendered powerless by the sovereign hand of God. His shield surrounds them, rendering them harmless to the arrows of adversity in the name of Jesus. Moving into the new year, I declare with unwavering faith the truth of Proverbs 18.10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to eat and are saved. I speak the Lord's name as a mighty tower, an unassailable refuge where you find safety and assurance in the name of Jesus. In times of uncertainty or when the storms of life threaten to overwhelm, I pray grace for you. Run into the strong tower of the Lord, finding safety and protection beneath his omnipotent wings. I declare and decree over you as you step into this new year, wrapped in the armor of your promises, Lord Jesus. I declare unity within your family, a unity fortified by the grace of God. I pray love, respect and understanding be the pillars that bind them together fostering an unbreakable bond even in the face of trials in the name of Jesus. May the Lord's peace reign in every corner of their home, dispelling discord and fostering an atmosphere of tranquility and harmony. In the realm of health and well-being, I declare the Lord's healing and restoration upon each member of your family. Standing on 2 Thessalonians 3.16, now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times in every way. The Lord be with all of you. I speak the comfort and presence of the Lord which brings peace in times of sickness or distress, renewing strength and vitality to their bodies, minds and spirits. I decree divine favor over the family, opening doors of opportunity and blessing in their personal and professional lives. May the favor of the Lord go before them, paving the way for unprecedented achievements and blessings in the coming year. 
according to Psalm 121 verse 7 the Lord will keep you from all evil he will keep your life I decree that the Lord encompasses you with an impenetrable shield of divine protection his omnipotent presence serves as a fortress safeguarding them from all forms of harm visible or unseen no scheme obstacle or malevolent intention shall prosper against you in the face of his vigilant watch in the name of jesus i declare that under the gaze of the almighty you are preserved and safeguarded in every facet of life the lord's watchful eyes guide their steps ensuring their safety in every endeavor his unfailing protection covers their coming in and going out securing their parts both in personal and professional spheres i pray that you endow them with divine insight to lead them away from pitfalls guiding them towards opportunities and strategies that lead to prosperity and success and i proclaim health and vitality over their lives the lord's healing touch bring restoration to any areas of illness or distress rejuvenating their minds body and spirit as you engage in your business or career pursuits in the coming year i declare protection from the enemy on every side of your endeavors and i decree that as they navigate through the intricacies of their career or business the lord's wisdom and guidance illuminate their way in the realm of their personal lives i declare the lord's peace and tranquility his comfort and presence brings solace in times of trouble dispelling anxiety and fear may you find strength and courage in the assurance of the lord's unfailing protection and guidance the divine favor opens doors of opportunities guiding you towards success and accomplishment his favor goes before you paving the way for unprecedented achievements and blessings i seal this declaration of ongoing protection and favor over your life business or career with the authority of psalm 121 verses 7 and 8 and i declare that the lord's unwavering vigilance encompasses every aspect of your life journey ensuring safety guidance and success both now and forevermore may his protection remain as your constant refuge and assurance in the mighty and matchless name of jesus i pray amen please subscribe to our channel and god bless you as you do so